I'm very optimistic. I do a lot of business with Amazon with a whole lot of small private companies. And they're, 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 their interaction with small providers with one or two different products is getting more and more efficient. So much of it's online. Some of it, Alexa is a new platform that obviously is going to help all kinds of companies do things. But again, it's part of cloud services, and they're not the only talking <clears throat> box. And my, my grave concern, and I own Amazon, and I, and I want it to keep winning, but th there's, there's a lot of competition coming into cloud services and AI and all kinds of support. And in the same way we got euphoric about Facebook, you have to come in with some caution to the fact that they're not the only player in town providing these services. And to the extent that Microsoft and Google and others are successful, one, analysts are not a good metric for calling a stock anymore. <laughs> I think it's obvious after what's occurred on the upside of what happened with Amazon and the downside of Facebook. So shareholders beware. Start to get cautious about the big growth drivers being places where others invest a lot of capital to get a piece of that action. And that's what I'm worried about with Amazon now. I thought he was going to talk about the Pandora's box of privacy concerns around Alexa. <laughs> but no. <laughs> uh, Stephanie, final, final word quickly on Amazon. Good earnings, great operating profits. I'm happy to see margins going in the right direction. I think they have a lot of tailwinds in terms of their revenue growth going forward. And so I think you stick with this one, secular grower. I, I think it continues to win.